Just pregame thoughts here, the Padres and the Red Sox. It's a new day, Padres fans. Hopefully this results in a win. The Red Sox, they've been playing pretty well as of late. James Paxton is on the mound for the Red Sox. Last outing, I believe he gave up two runs. Uh, it was his first outing in the big leagues this season. He's been coming back from injury. Uh, so I have no idea what to really expect out of James Paxton tonight. Blake Snell on the mound for the Padres. Uh, pitch count, underdog fantasy, I will go lower on that for tonight. Uh, I think Blake can still have a good start. Um, but bullpen's fresh. Padres need to win this game. Maybe Boma will have a little bit shorter of a leash on Snell. That's just kind of my thinking for tonight. Manny, obviously, on the IL. Gave my reaction to that in a separate video. You can go check that out. Brandon Dixon, he has been called up, and he's starting at first base. I was not expecting Brandon Dixon to be starting at first base tonight. If you were to tell me that on Wednesday after the game, I mean, I, I would not have believed that. I thought maybe it would have been like Ruben Odor being sent down or something like that, and Crony or Carpenter would have started at first. But I guess I understand, you know, Dixon starting with the lefty on the mound in, in James Paxton. Uh, Kim, he's going to be playing third base for the most part with Manny on the IL. Who knows how long Manny's going to be out. It's going to be at least 10 days. Well, it's retroactive to a few days ago. He can return for the New York series, but without him, it, like, it's not just the Manny problem, right? Like, when he was healthy, it, it wasn't just Manny. So, it's still the same thing. Like, collectively, not just one guy, collectively, this lineup has to be better, period, but better also with runners in scoring position. Um, I mean, that stat that I put out, on social media last night, batting average with runners in scoring position. One guy hitting over 300 with runners in scoring position this year, I mean, it, it's bad. So Jake Cronenworth, Sandra Bogarts, those guys, I think they need to be better, uh, especially with runners in scoring position. Look at the lineup tonight. Tatis, he is leading off. Hassan Kim, he is hitting second. He's playing third, obviously. And then it is Soto hitting fourth. Bogarts hitting third. Uh, Soto it seems like Soto has found a home hitting fourth. I know there's been some games in between here where he's hit third and not fourth, but feels like that's where Bowmill wants him right now. Uh, Nelson Cruz, he is the DH tonight. No Matt Carpenter because the lefty on the mound. Uh, Crony, he's at second base hitting sixth. And then Dixon, Nola, Angle. Not great 7-8-9 there, but that's what happens when one of your star players goes on the IL and you have a lefty on the mound. And... Uh, Bomell said something interesting today like yeah Grishy actually hits better off of lefties and he's not in there tonight against lefties so it's not just a matchup thing you know he wants Angle to get some playing time but also I think this could serve a little bit as a wake-up call like Trent hey we'll, we'll just put Adam Angle in the lineup if you're not going to step it up and that's what we've seen tonight and so Nola he's buying the plate again the catching position that is what it is Campy's out they're not going to go make a move uh, it is what it is. Bullpen, it's good with the off day yesterday. And the lineup, how many runs are they going to score? That, that's the question. Because Blake, I think, can give them a good outing. It's it's a it's a pretty good Red Sox lineup. Uh, Verdugo, Justin Turner, Devers, Yoshida, Kike Hernandez, just guys that the casual fan probably knows. Um, so I think the Red Sox can score some runs off of Snow. But... You know, the Padres, you're, you're not going to win scoring w no runs or probably one run tonight, right? Like, they're going to have to get it together. So we'll see if they can do that.